still you can't be fed up. Oh girl, it's not the left and the right, huh? Oh girl, ain't like the best thing is nice, yeah. What is going on guys, Son of Beast here. We are back with another NBA Playoffs as the Raptors take on against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks lead the series 3-1 over the Raptors, but the Raptors seems like they just need more time to get back in the game. But, what will happen here? We don't know. Well, let's... Well, we don't know. Let's find out what is happening here at Fiserv Forum. Here showing what Game 5 is about. This is the last one part of Game 5 for, for the game of the series. And I already did the review of the Rockets versus the Lakers as the Lakers wins the series 4-1 to over the Rockets. And they are going up against the Dallas Mavericks in the Western Conference Championship game. But now the Eastern Conference Championship game, there might be only one choice to have everything to be leave with. America of Star Spangled Banner against the the O Canada of the Raptors are up next at Fiserv.forum. We're showing you what your skills is all about, but I don't even know which team will have it better? But in that case, Pfizer Forum has got everything here since Bradley Center was being uh, finished with this last game of the season. Right now, here's DA with an update. The Bucks took a massive leap in Coach Mike Budenholzer's first season in Milwaukee. Budenholzer said he joined the organization at the perfect time. The new facilities, the energetic fans, the great roster, ownership, front office, everything is set up to have great success. And he added, I feel fortunate to be the coach. Kevin? Mike Budenholzer, just the uh, just the only game that was been played here and he had to with the coach. By that being said, let's get this game on the road here as game five is about to be an amazing, incredible matchup here between the between Canada and America. Milwaukee Bucks and Raptors are ready to get things off. Siakam and Antetokounmpo are the key matchups at the point four position. By that moment, we're sure that we're going to see who wins the tip-off. Here's the tip-off from the middle. The Bucks wins the tip-off and we start now in game five. Bledsoe outside with the drive over Lowry. His first rebound. Oh, what a great putback by Giannis Antetokounmpo. His first basket and his first rebound wasn't that bad. After the miss by Bledsoe. Siakam with the ball right around it. Here's Serge Ibaka. Van Vliet outside for the three. And that's good. Two good rebounds here by each, each, each between the team. Here are the commentators, Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Harlan. They control the pace by hitting the glass. So interesting to see who wins that battle. Pulls the ball is Middleton. Right. Yes. Just take more, more possessions. Shot clock Giannis up. His knocks knocks down to two, and he puts up in the lead by four points. On to the Kumpo. It makes sense, right? Lowry against Bledsoe. Lowry searching the floor with the shot. It misses off target. Brooke Lopez grabs another rebound. We're not subbing anybody in. Only we'll one rebound for Lopez. Brooke Lopez, if I'm going to say it correctly. He kicks the mantle. His shoes look so neon. Unbelievable. It's Antetokounmpo on the wing, covered by Siakam. Six-pointer no good for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Okay. Back on the other hand is Van Vliet. Only two points had made. Or the three-pointer, I'm sorry. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Siakam, right near the elbow. Pass to Lowry. Lowry to Ananobi. Five seconds to shoot. The shot for Ananobi is up. And that one is off the line. Antetokounmpo has got has got two rebounds for the season. Just left down to five minutes on the court. Middleton around Ananobi. No good that time, but the shot was being off the nine and he terrified by each that moment. Lowry with the two. 
He makes a he makes a shot. This happened with the last game after Utah as they made a win 101 to 92. As I guys did not show you what the game result was for the Toronto Raptors after they win against the against the Utah Jazz. Giannis with the three. Good! Drops it in. Assist by Middleton. Seven points of the game. Assist by Middleton. And here on the first, the Toronto trailing by two with 420 left. Here's Van Vliet. Van Vliet up in the move. Siakam up. The shot goes in and it's tied up by two. Tied up by seven. He's one of them. Two point. He's got his first two basket for Pascal Siakam. Siakam covered by Antetokounmpo. Here's Middleton. Three for Bledsoe. Flies up. And it's put back by Kyle Lowry. Van Vliet for three. Antetokounmpo grabs the third rebound. Just seven points here. Ah, oh, turn it over. I think Antetokounmpo was not ready to get going. There's the first foul going on Wesley Matthews. Just 3.32 left. Fred VanVleet on really good with the shot shooting form. And he knows how he can play basketball. Then, uh, and, uh, then Kyle, then Kawhi Leonard with the, with the to Raptors. Because he knows everything that he wins it all. And now a Fred VanVleet's turn to give it a shot. First free throws good. And Wesley Matthews is checked out. Even Chenzo's checked in. It's not the biggest, but his not the biggest game what we're seeing about Wesley Matthews. I'm sure what what he needs to know about his game. And it might be too hard to keep it going from uh, one, one of each site. I don't have any suggestions to say anything. And it might be a lot hard to get there. Area where he is just a superb player. Excellent. Three thirty left. Bledsoe outside. Oh, finds yeah, finds on Shikupo. The reverse layup is good, and assist by Bledsoe. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where is the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here is Lowry. Here's Lowry covered up by Bledsoe. Only uh, not. He's all, he's alone with just a one, just a pointer. But Siakam only had two points for now. And the call, call goes on Brooke Lopez. He's first. Second team foul for Milwaukee Bucks. Pascal Siakam looks like he was going to get there. And he's the king of the Raptor. Showing him what he knows and since uh, since he made it, he made his never draft. Since he was drafted in the NBA since 2016. Along with Ben Simmons uh, who played at LSU. After the first shot, then the new changes will be made. First one, first one falls in for Siakam. Oz uh, Jefferson is checked in for Ananobi. And very active in the basketball without borders. Saul Powell and Davis are checked in. Prospect like Siakam was on his new changes for the Bucks. Watch some middle time. Shakupo Lopez, Rob Connington Hill, Illy Sofa, and Robin Lopez. Projected. Now for the Bucks. Pascal Siakam only gets one shot left. Comes in for Giannis Makes two free throws, and then he and ends up with four points. When your bigs can make Here's George throws, Hill, along with the scoring, just four two pointers to that was never line. that was never here before. Steven Chenzo outside. Pass to Connaughton. Bernie Elbow, the drive, and the foul is going on Hollis Jefferson. He's first. So his first trip to the line will be two shots. Nick Nurse trying to keep him uh, concentrating on, on players, but Hollis Jefferson is the only person that was just kind of fouled up with the first call. That's Siakam, Hollis Jefferson. Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and Kobe Bryant. Those are by four. By fours, by fours, never got a chance to uh, to pick out which by four does players have. They're trying to get there as soon as they can.
The first free throw for Connaughton is good, and now Siakam is checked out, and Boucher is checked in. Did really well, but the king of the Raptor will just get again a first look at the. Um, we'll have a first look to, uh, on the bench. Connaughton hits two free throws and has two right now. 2.45 left, here's Powell. DiVincenzo on the cover. He's also had a huge role in the growing. Screen on Hollis Jefferson. Not that time, DiVincenzo cut it in. How does he do that? That was weird. Powell against DiVincenzo. Powell with no time left. Uh, and went foul early. And that was on DiVincenzo with this first. And third team foul on Milwaukee Bucks. Mike Budenholz would talk to DiVincenzo. A stop doing an early defensive pop up. He's more of a but it looks like Powell will have to head to the free throw line to shoot two. In his young career, young careers never always be surprised at all. Two shots for Powell. The first shot's good here for Powell. And the Raptors took some heat for parting ways with reigning Coach of the Year Dwayne Casey, but his successor. Nick Nurse guided this franchise to an NBA title. Tremendous self-belief and determination. The only NBA head coach who was also a head coach in college, the G League, and overseas. He's been preparing for this for a long time. Now here's Skill, 224 left. 13 to 11 to score. Robin Lopez trying to keep an eye on one of each players. And he's to go from a better defender. DiVincenzo grabs it back. Hill roll over Connington. the over to Connaughton. Oh, Ily Sofa helps him out. Rocket six. Right around Boucher. Boucher with a solid D. Under two minutes left here. Here's Davis. Guarded by D. Vincenzo. And their starters had to take an early stint on the bench. You know what? That's unfair to the bench to expect them to pick up all of the slack. They need to stay away. Ed Davis, not even comfortable looking to pass the ball, but did find Marcus Saul. Looking for his first bucket in this one. Last shot. Let's be shifted by Robert Lopez and the shot clock. Shot clock comes to a violation. That will be Bucks ball and Corper is checked in for Connaughton. I mean DiVincenzo. And Connaughton switches to the shooting guard. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long. 145 left to play here. Hill cutting in. And foul on Fouls on Boucher, making a bounce pass to make an open wide clear shot. Well, George Hill, the veteran guard, doesn't produce at the volume he once did. Still, he brings a lot of value to a team. This is his first free throw of the game. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. It's outstanding to, uh, to make the uh, aggressive to play, uh, to play offense to show what George Hill can do. What he can't do is just try to uh, make it, try to get one to jump one high good. enough and make it the alley-oop. Because one of each players are, are just tall and they, and they can, and, and they can definitely tell you that, uh, that they can make the alley-oop. But George Hill may not have enough, but he might be all right. Welcome addition to any roster, even as his numbers he ties it up and he makes two free throws for George Hill. George Hill, you know he's one of the more versatile guards we have in the game. He can defend ones. Under a minute and a half, Davis against Hill. Oz Jefferson outside, covered by Corford. Thomas Jefferson. He's got Oz Jefferson never got a chance to shoot the points out of all. Powell outside, Connaughton on the cover, and it's taken away by Robin Lopez with the first steal. Outside Hill. Pass to Robin Lopez. One minute left to go. Corfer outside. Six on the shot clock. Holding the ball. Robin Lopez with the shot. Lopez. Lopez. Robin Lopez missing out. And so it's Davis. And it's Davis with the rebound. Going back the other way. Pass to Gasol. Oh, what a suck move here, but Gasol takes the first two-pointer. 
one to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Now I'm making, I'm making the flop in motion there. He needs to find something now. better. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Here's Hill. Court for outside. Rolling in the paint. Oh, swept off. Marcus Allen with the first personal foul. Corfer will get to the line to shoot two. And he's got his well, there's not, there's nothing what we can do for uh, for any of these players that wants to sell it down because they just made a, they just hit with a, they just made a hard hedge, not just a, not just a soft hedge out there that they seemed to try to get it better, and that they're not giving it a good try, they're not trying not to get to get a better position. Two shots for Corfer, but I'm telling you. This game was really, really difficult and challenging too. First free throw is good. But if you rehydrate, you can do that way. Williams checked in for early so, for Leron Lopez as Eli Sopa heads to the center. He's just keep getting better. Marvin Williams has checked in for the Bucks. I call it Marvin Williams, but I call it Williams by his last name. Corfer hits two free throws. That's his first two buckets for tonight. 22 seconds in the first quarter. Hill against Davis. Davis pass to Boucher. Back to Davis. At the elbow. Pass to Gasol. Gasol to Powell with the shot. Excellent shot here as assist was up by Gasol. First assist of the game. To perfection. Here's the buzz meter for George. Mr. Hill with the three. Lead up by one. And that is the end of the first quarter. What a shot here for George Gill before the buzz meter has made a sound. But the second quarter might be the only way that the Bucks can do more than they have. We'll be right back after this. Mosquito, Mr. Mosquito. Who, who wants to call that in a Greek name? They're not. They're not just the only chance that everybody's uh, been all over the news here talking about uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo with the crazy pronouncing the last name. It's not always better to uh, keep it going from here, but I think that might be a hard time. I would say Antetokounmpo. Davis out of time. Especially at the start. Rebounded by Marvin Williams. This is first rebound of the night. Boucher trying to stop on him. He stepped out. He stepped on the backcourt violation. That will be turned it over into Toronto ball. Since the defenders are just like keeping an eye on the attack, Kyle Lowry's back in for Powell. Boucher in a power forward. Atsukumpo is checked in for Elias Sofa. Pass to Gasol. Anjikupo with the cover. Pass to Alex Jefferson. It's blocked by Corfer. 6 10 left. And here's Giannis. Outside Hill. Hill passed to Marvin Williams, but Corfer hasn't recovered. Five on the clock. Here's Hill with the shot. Drive. And it's taken away by Lowry. With no shooting foul call. Wow, what does the Raptors have to do with that without being caught by by the uh, by the grabbing the foul? Gasol grabs it up here. As it's by Kyle Lowry. First another first pointer on the board in the second quarter. Outside Gonna go back with the motion. Pass the hill. George Hill coming to the drive, saving it by Ante Kupo. The, the rejection is off, and it goes out of bounds. Stays up with Bucks ball. Here's a different look here from Milwaukee. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Gasol, and then it's and then it's Siakam checked in for Hollis Jefferson. Van Vliet checked in for. Uh, I, 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 I just don't have any choices to make. Middleton up. Or so the ball went off the line. 505 left. Here's Ananobi, covered by Middleton. Pass to Lowry. 
Lowry trying to find another way to get through it. Going through is Siaka. Back to right to Van Vliet. Screen on Ibaka. With the floater. And it's rebounded by Antetokounmpo. Just five rebounds for uh, Antetokounmpo. Trying to keep an eye on here. Where he wants to take a look at an open spot. Bledsoe covered up by Siakam. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Back to Bledsoe. Matthews went out of bounds. No shot made. And that will be Toronto ball. Wesley well, Matthews has stepped out, but didn't want to take his chance to get back on the court. So DiVincenzo will have to sub in. Van Bleet off on the roll here, picking up the better shot this season. 4.15 left. Cooper pass to Brooke Lopez. Pass to DiVincenzo. Anshikupo helps them out with the screen. Great pass, and that was DiVincenzo's first assist. All-time favor. A Greek freak showing no signs um, on each direction of the layup. Raptors still leading it up by the score of 21 to 20. Let's head over to David Aldridge. Siakam with the line. Drive. We all know, and if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry said, a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. You gotta be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. Kevin, that's what made him from Philly to Villanova to Toronto to an NBA champion. So the jump ball is called here for Giannis and Siakam. Here's the tip. And it's the Bucks wins the jump ball. DiVincenzo with the shot. Makes it two points. At the start of the second quarter. 3.15 gone by. Van Vliet looking all over around. Finds Lowry. So went in the middle. Here's the shot. Toronto keeping out Lowry on the road. Just 20 shots. 20 points on the board. Seven assists and five rebounds. Under three minutes on Sakupo trying to look for something around. Screen on Antetokounmpo. It's rejected by Serge Ibaka. Here's the fast break. Van Vliet Ananobi with the shot. Good. An assist by Van Vliet. He's got the lead up to five. Under 2.30 left. Bledsoe outside. Covered by Lowry. And it's stolen by Van Vliet with the back pass incomplete. Bledsoe trying to get away with it. But it's too late. Lowry with the drive and it's good. First time out called by the Bucks. They need some attention to give here by that moment. For right now, Bucks are trailing by seven. As I just need to be uh, slightly honestly with my next opinion to give it a go to see which uh, which uh, which uh, which game do they need to come up with. That's a hard move. I'm just going to go with this part. I think guys actually practice this, don't they? Ways they can kind of lure a defensive player in like that. They do. They are. They're strong enough now. I, I just don't feel like this was ever happening again, but it may be too much to keep it going for me here. But it, but if I'm the only person that wants to uh, make some changes here, that's all I need to go for. Lopez, is checked in. Lopez Mr. Robin Lopez, is checked in for Brooke Lopez. And then it's Giannis Antetokounmpo stepped out as Ilya Sopa is checked in. Bledsoe, Robin Lopez outside, coming in, just two minutes left. Steven Chenzo with the three, drops it in! Beyond the arc, showing out no mercy, as with the first bucket right over Van Bleet. He's not going to miss it every time, but when, but when he gets the shot back in, He's gonna have to like keep it going as long as he can make it in. One forty left here. Van Vliet only got a number two. Only had a number assist. Lowry coming in right now. 
to the middle. Over Baca. Oh, he went back by Van Lee. Three seconds to shoot. Van Lee with no luck. It's rebounded by Robin Lopez. That will be his first rebound for Robin. Only seven points for Van Vliet. It's, it's passes tipped away. Here's Van Vliet. Van Vliet right around it. Van uh, after the after the steal by Siakam. Around the basket, he made that reverse. Harvard away, Middleton. Middleton, Middleton missing out the three. When it was open wide enough, but it didn't work. Great D on DiVincenzo, but right now it's under one minute to go in the first half. Might be too sure. I don't know what's happening. Bledsoe missing again. No good that time either. Rare for him yeah, he's definitely getting cold right now. I don't think his shooting ability is not working out for him. And Lowry with another shot. With this league, it's not going really well. Six seconds separating the shot and game blocks. Middle tip past the Bledsoe. They're going all over to say B U C K. The Bucks. S. Shots off, Serge Ibaka with the first personal foul. Stop the clock at 9.5 seconds. When Lopez starts going to work. When Lopez wants to get up to go to work, he, he's got like he's got he's got some work to do to uh, to do his shooting career. Six for six for Robin Lopez as he will be shooting two shots. So Jabaka a little bit uh heavy heavy here. First free throw was dropped off to a miss. Boucher and Davis have checked in as all five players are coming off the court. Call it good defense. Davis, Powell, Jefferson, Boucher, and Gasol are checked in. Four players are on the court. Connington, Matthews, and Williams are checked in as George Kill is also checked in too. Robin Lopez can't hit the two-pointer. In the corner, Hollis, In the corner Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson. Shooting's off. But, it's no good. but no half court for Matthews to take it from here. So that's the end of the first half. With a quick game, as, as I always mention here, the Raptors are facing its way to swipe them out before game six. Let's over to David Aldridge Thanks, and see what he has. Mike Budenholzer, coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks, we're over shifting, and then we're not committed to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Of course, the defenses are not just working out too well, but we're going to have to fix it when we come back after our halftime show. Welcome back at the Pfizer Forum as we start the third quarter. We're showing the top performance here by Giannis Antetokounmpo and Van Vliet. Antetokounmpo never realized he was going to get up and start making his game come back to his life. But when he knows his story about after he was drafted in, with the Milwaukee Bucks in 2013, he was realizing that Giannis would say, I can do it for myself. It's not really hard for him to become a rookie to start up by if, if everyone is saying they're pronouncing the name, last name incorrectly. But that doesn't mean that they're doing it really well and keeping the right shot at the right time. So it looks like... Uh, Cooper will have to see what his game is up to and see how many uh, points he had made. If he made a hundred, then, uh, then, he, then he might be lucky. Eric Bledsoe with the first personal foul. Serge Ibaka will go to the line to shoot two. And the first one drops. First one drops it. some classic shoe brands making a return to the NBA with updated versions. Smitty, what was your sneaker of choice back in the day? Kevin, that's funny. I started off with the pumps, the double pumps, and then I ended up with a shell toe low top. And then now you see all the youngsters now wearing low tops. They used to tell me back in the day, low tops were not good for your ankles. But I didn't really jump that high, so I was okay. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Two free throws for, is good for, uh, for Serge Ibaka. Now on the other hand is Bledsoe coming into the drive. Went well, that's another shot. 
First two for Eric Bledsoe. So it's Toronto. It's Toronto right now. Lowry still got a chance to evaluate no, eight points Larry. for the season. The first half. Fade away or turn around, no good. Bucks trail by eight. Bucks trail by eight. Two rebounds for Wesley Matthews. Now, Matthews covered by Van Vliet. Pass to Lopez. And now to help with the screen is Middleton. Shot clock at six. Shoots. Do Matthews for three. Way off target, but rebounded by Brooke Lopez, and the put back is put in. How does Lopez need to get back into his uh, own position? I know what to say. He is, he showed up. Ibaka taking the three. Off the mark here, as Middleton will take the, take the number, look at the rebound. First rebound for Middleton. Pass to Brooke Lopez. Lopez outside. Lopez to rolling it over to Achtacupo. Bianca against Giannis. Bianca with the drive. Oh, dunk it in. Mr. Greek Freak has got his one hand dunk in four. They're rocking out the ball here right around. Lowry against Bledsoe. He's got eight. Serge Ibaka left out of a low up. Oh, I guess uh, he doesn't want to take the three by his own shot. Back to Ananobi. Five seconds to shoot. Van Vliet shooting it up to take the three. That three is off the mark. Bucks trail by four. Oh, uh, he lost the ball as Van Vliet has taken the, uh, taken the other way. Go to David Aldridge on the sideline. As an assistant in Toronto last season, Nick Nurse moved to head coach of the Raptors, and the team responded, winning the franchise's first NBA championship. Nurse has been at this for three decades. He got his first head coaching position at the age of 23. And he has moved all throughout basketball, both domestically and abroad guiding 15 teams in five different countries. After winning it all last year, Kevin, he's finally made it to the top. So Brooke Lopez will go to the line to shoot two after Ibaka takes his second personal foul. Stop the clock at 4.30 left. We're gonna see what uh, Brooke Lopez can do. Because Robin Lopez never got a chance to take one. First three throws good for Ro and Brooke Lopez, and now Colbert is checked in strong. for Middleton. When he does this, he makes an impact on both A lot teams. of impacts are playing enough Horford. to make a change he's here. Corfer try to help him out because one of each players are getting tired out. Too soon or too early. Lopez, Lopez makes ball. two free throws and has four points. Bucks lead by Bucks trailing by four. As Toronto leads by four. High up and Lowry has handle a number drive. Number points in the game is just coming out too loose. That was a beauty he just put up. Here's Oxygenko. Oh, now they trail by six. He kicks it to Bloodsoe. Now it refers to trail by six. Bledsoe coming in, passes to Corfer and trying to get back where he needs to get there. Three second violation is going to go on Bledsoe, that turns it off into Toronto ball. Not doing really well. And here's Giannis, looking up here in third place as James Harden only 34.4. But the timeout will be on the Raptors. Both teams are going to make some uh, make some uh, sitting down, and you're going to talk things over. What is happening now? The Bucks are making some new changes here, and now uh, Siakam's back on the court, subbing in by Siak of uh, Hollis Jefferson. Matthews holding up on Powell. Top of the key. Top of the key is Abaka. Abaka looking around the floor. Pass to Siaka, blocked by Brooke Lopez. It's a bonus 
it's it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of irritation going on here between uh, between the Greek freak and Siakam. There's nothing what everyone else can do about it. Matthews going back out of the other way. He'll take the three jumper. And it's good, right from the outside, and it's on the two-point line. On a three-point line, and just a two-pointer. Firing away, with firing away, just not a good chance to take a shot, open look. But he's definitely going to have to take it from here. And they, and they definitely didn't want to go home. Van Vliet, shot's good again. That is 13 for Van Vliet, and tied up with Antetokounmpo. Now here's Brooke Lopez. He only has grabbed four points in this game. Hill outside. George Hill knocking him crazy, and there's another shot for Hill. Nine points. Field goal percentage updated as 50% comes up by the box and 53 for the Raptors. Here's Paul. Powell up against Gill. Just a 2-3 to three zone. That's all I need to go for. Van Vliet free. Three pointer no good as Corpor wraps grabs the rebound. Here are some different rebounding efforts for both teams. 10 rebound on Toronto. 17 rebounds for uh, for the Bucks. Brooke Lopez. And he adds another point. Six points for Brooke Lopez. After two minutes left here. Here's Lowry. Passed by Van Vliet. Van Vliet looking all around. Pass to Powell. Powell up. Good. The fadeaway jumper is good. Timeout called by the Bucks. Three assists right now. As this one was up by even by Siakam. And you know what? Not that moment. Moment. I don't think there's any other choices to even from uh, to, uh, to being compa competitive. So I'm switching another look here. Of course, Bango is just all crazy enough as a mascot. Way too many turnovers and looking frustrated. They need to get back to their pace, their brand of basketball. Let's change it right into pace, as, I, as somebody would agree this. Anyway, that's all I need to go for here. The big group substitution here. Big group of are back on the floor. Hill stays on the court as a point. Excuse me, as a point guard position. There's a Connaughton, DiVincenzo, Marvin Williams, and Ailey Sofa. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Layup drive is good for Williams. That's the second point of the bucket of a night. More of a combo guard making things happen. Combo in the guard right over, right around Boucher. There's your drive by that one. And the Raptors with the ball. 120 left here in the third quarter. This is the 15th season for the veteran Marvin Williams, former number two overall pick back in 2005. Oh yes, that was back in 2005 for Marvin Williams that everybody was looking for. And I'm sure that Marvin Williams will have to see what he can do. What a dunk by DiVincenzo. And that's another bucket here and a great steal with the turnover by Powell. Davis with it. That's seven points for DiVincenzo under one minute. But if Marvin Williams wants to keep it going, wants to start from this game, he needs to have talk to his coach what time will he be here? His timing effort was not just the only way that he could be here, and just the only person he had been back, back from here. Gasol's got six points. Gasol's got six points. Total pro at running these pick and rolls the right way. As soon as the pick is set, he is rolling hard to the cup. Bill Pascal Williams. He averages a bit. Oh, cross the breaking ankle. Wow, Boucher didn't see that one coming, and Williams, what a, what a sweet move here. Broken ankles was on Boucher. He was running out of here, almost about to fall off. Boucher take the three. High off the mark, no good. Getting a little bit tired here, going all over the place into the three zone. Taking a look at his numbers, Marvin Williams will have to try his best to keep him going. Now Williams, and now they're going to take the lead to buzz it. And no good 
No good on the uh, no good on the buzz feeder as the third quarter has ended with 45 to 45. And with the scoring position was just not that changeable. It's completely even, just like the first quarter. Fourth quarter is on its way next when we come back. How about a look at the, uh, the really real part of State Farm Assistant the game? We're taking a look about uh, DiVincenzo and Antetokounmpo. When you're looking for Giannis Antetokounmpo with a reversing layup, give him credit for keeping. You need to give him some credit with the information to find uh, to find about Antetokounmpo where he wants to do his crazy crazy spin and some competitive uh, gaming was just not that always easy enough to get from here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one on ESPN. So if you do, just leave a comment down below. As Dante DiVincenzo heads another point. Right around Gasol. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. DiVincenzo's got the lead by two. Ah, uh, Boucher with the revenge, as Powell just makes the assist. Coming off assist. Milwaukee's gone three to six tonight. When three to six tonight here for Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Here's Middleton. Middleton outside. Middleton finds Ily Sofa. Over Gasol. The shot comes, the shot goes, Gasol comes off Gasol. loose. Ed Davis covered by DiVincenzo. Ashton Boucher. Boucher with the lead, drains it from outside. And it's a three-point Raptor, three Raptor lead. Not the biggest fan. DiVincenzo going back the other way. Space to get it off, so so why not? And Ilyasova kicks to Connaughton. Connaughton looking all over. Trying to hold it on. Shots off. Gasol with a second personal foul. Connaughton will head to his second trip to the free throw line. We saw not even not even controlling the mind of his body to make it to make it strong. But this might be happening too much recently. I think that's because uh, Serge Ibaka was just making two fouls and then Gasol with two fouls. Neither of those guys would like to uh, would like to take another attempt at shots at that moment. First free throw is good for Connaughton. Some changes here for the, Some changes here for the Toronto and the Bucks. Boucher is checked, 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 checked out as Anarobi checked in and Hollis Jefferson switches to the point for the forward. Rangers. And then Ailey Sofa is checked out as Robin Lopez is checked in and Bledsoe is checked in for, uh, for George Hill. Connaughton hits two free throws. Now he has four points. Raptors with the lead. Raptors still in the lead. Powell trying to look something up somewhere around. Knocks it loose. Knocks it loose, but Powell has recovered it. Count that one. Don't want to allow too many of They still have a lot more time to get there. Right now, kind of going back the other way. We're just over a minute and a half. Robin Lopez with the screen. Oh, cuts it in. Kicks it down to Middleton. Shoots over on Anobi. That one's off the mark and missed again. They're losing one of each money to get back from here, and that wasn't the only way that they're going to keep it going. Hollis Jefferson with a quick pass from Ed, from Ed Davis. I'm, I'm loving what they're going to keep going. Marvin Williams way too deep, and this was not happening since the last time in Game 5. Davis, who out back to, back to Davis. Goes by Anonobi, Alex uh, Jefferson rolling it up, and Gasol with the dunk. Finding a little bit more room as Anonobi would have grabbed his first assist. Points in the paint was just eight. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Bledsoe take the three. The three-point range outside is good. And so Robin Lopez was just quite gaining it's quite gaining the assist. And there you go. There's your assist for Robin Lopez. Come on, man. We got more to keep it going. 
Toronto. Timeout, Toronto. 4-12 left. 56-52. As the Bucks yeah, trail by 2-4. So a lot of coaching. The challenging was up on the, on the moment here, but it's not always too much. So it looks like it's not that... I don't think it's not enough to get from here, so we're going back to man-to-man. -to -man. And then uh, we we'll just need to patient it with the offense, and then we're going to have to go with the series. Let's make it to 14 series. And now we'll have to watch uh, Kyle Lowry. He comes back on the court. Watch the... Uh, Make sure it's nothing inside, as I as I mentioned. Play conservative, conservative, and then rebounds. Run in transition. That's what we have to do to keep it going. A different look from Milwaukee. Different look here from Milwaukee. In for Lopez. Antetokounmpo comes in for Williams, and Wesley Matthews subbed in for Pat Connaughton. Then for the Rams. Van Vliet, Siakam, and Lowry are checked in. in. And then on the other hand is Connaughton. Williams, Lopez, Brooke Lopez, Ma Wesley Matthews, and Ansu Kumpo are checked in. Here's David Aldridge. What Nick Nurse told his team, he's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys, things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. That is a good number two with the driving look for Bledsoe. That one was as easy. That was just as like an did. easy layup he here. Easy, uh, look. easy uh, shots that they're looking at. Here's Lowry. Need a lot more to get things done here. Bledsoe against Lowry. Siakam outside, covered by Matthews, and it's taken away by Astakupo. Here we go. Matthews gonna do it. That shot, that shot will count in, and then it looks like Matthews is getting too cold. The open look for Lowry, no good. Bucks are trailing by five with just 3.08 remaining. Antetokounmpo passed to Bledsoe. Bledsoe against Lowry. Back to Giannis. Here's the drive. And the Greek freak has dunk it again. Giannis with 15 points. Raptors are calling timeout with just 2:47 left, and Mr. the Mr. Greek Freak has wants to take the hype and put the win in Game Five if they head to the Eastern Conference Championship game. This is going to be something different than the Raptors. And now here's your presentation, Jordan player of the game, Fred Van Vliet. And I love that it's been a hard uh, it's, it's been hard that Fred Van Vliet wasn't able to uh, be participating in the, uh, in the Jordan player of the game. Whatever I mentioned about Fred Van Vliet, this game was definitely more intense than everyone was thinking about. The most improved player was Antetokounmpo trying to get there, and there's a dunk. Going up by Mr. Jabaka with a right strong there, move. Shy away from taking 235. Shots. Matthews outside. Brooke Lopez coming in from the baseline. Oh, he wants to get out of the way before being avoided out of bounds. Matthews going for three. And there we got a loose ball foul on Brooke Lopez. Second personal foul. And that's not even going to be good enough for the Brook, for the uh, Bucks. Mr. Brook Lopez having a hard time to keep it going here. It's tipped away. Matthews taking it back the other way. Here and here he goes alone. And he'll have to shoot from the elbow since Antetokounmpo doesn't want to go for the dunk anymore. And sweet pass comes up by Middleton. This is happening before, but nobody was ever happened to hear. Two minutes left here. Pass to Ananobi. To the left side wing. Ben Lee going again. And a miss by here for Toronto. Matthews heading in. 
Archie Cooper for three. And he reaches up to tie the game. He noticed that he could do it, that an assist was on Wesley Matthews. 138 left. Lowry against Bledsoe. Bledsoe against Lowry. Lowry trying to find another look. Van Vliet! Oh my goodness! Baskets. Matching the basket. What? What? Which? Uh, which player do you need most? There might be more. And he doesn't want to take the dunk here. Antti Kupo will have to take another layup and a drive over uh, Siakam. One fifteen left. Lowry trying to find another look on open offense. Lowry going the other way to fade away. Misses off the line. Milwaukee's going with the three point. Off the line, as you say. One minute left. Now here's Middleton, covered by Van Vliet. Covered by uh, screen on to Kubo. Leads good. That is impressive how Giannis keeps it in the ball. And he was driving in really well. That is the most improved player that you ever seen before. Just 39 left. Siakam, wow, drilled it outside. But it looks like the game was definitely coming out to a halt. I think this is a devastation, but we're not sure if it's going to be real. Last time it was game four, Brooke Lopez recovered it, but they almost with the buzz beater. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Ties it up. Huge basket here for Archie DeCumpo. Timeout, Toronto with their final timeout. 17.9 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. This was like happening almost early to see what is, uh, what is happening from here. So Middleton and is uh, Middleton and Bledsoe are subbing out. I'm gonna do that. Corfer and George Hill will finish it off from here. Two of those guys from uh, Cleveland Cavaliers back in the flashback in 2019. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out what they can do from here. Now this is the finish. We are going through the playthrough. We're gonna get one of the shooters open. We're gonna make it auto. And then, and then push the pace, limit the transaction. And that's what we have to do. This is it. One more chance here. One more possession, last possession for the, uh, for the Bucks to make a switch. This is gonna be a dumbing down. Wesley Matthews gonna have to give it a go. With the three, lost to go, and this is setting off to an overtime by two teams. Yes, this is all we know. First, it was the it was Denver Nuggets and the Rockets, and now the overtime is on. It's now time for overtime to finish off the post game of the season. Let's find out who wins. And the Raptors will win the tip-off from here in the other hand. Overtime of the season, game ready to go. So Siaka would definitely quick move. Timeout called by the Bucks. We're now have to just now gonna have to like it. We're gonna have to help uh, help the defenders on offense keep it real really tight here. Let's uh. Uh, Pascal Siakam is supposed to be on Stukumpo. That's what we need to know about that. Okay? Then uh, let's make it, let, not all try to moderate and then tight on the uh, on ball. And then one man, Kyle Lowry, that should be covered by a blood so. He put the gap, base, uh, middle, go under, go over. No hedge, because we don't want any a tough contested shot and call the foul. Three to four tops is what we need to know about it. And that is, that's, a clue, that's a clue to key with the, uh, the stop the defender. 
No substitutions made here, so here's Antetokounmpo. And Zoyanis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Double man covered. Pass to Middleton. Pass to Middleton. Rolling in. Makes it, it makes it off, and he finally gets his two point of the basket in overtime. The D had better start. The D needs to be starting off with, it, with a clean look. And I mean, definitely clean. Raptors spending it out smooth, but Lowry going to do it again. Well, the shot doesn't work with work off drive, but just like Kyle Kyrie Irving, he's just like Kyrie Irving shot went too low. But so we'll hand over to DiVincenzo. Gianna is going all the way downtown, but it's rebounded by Abaka since uh, Anshikupo went too early, went really too much. Two minutes, out of bounds, Bucks ball, great D by DiVincenzo, as Van Vliet ran out of bounds. Nick Nurse tried to, would have, would have tried to make it sure to try to avoid the man with the spin move. The lead, no good. Well, it was a good D for Siakam. One King the Raptor, best described as Pascal. Oh, and we got a lead. There was a big bucket we got a lead right here. Lowry takes it all. Middleton taking a tie. Rebounded. Oh, wow, the solid D was pulling it back way worse than better time. Reaching fouls going on. Bledsoe is second. That's foul number two for him. Foul number two. First team foul for the Bucks. Well, are we going back the, down the way? A three-pointer again. It's rebounded by Lopez. Rebound number five for Lopez. What? Are you kidding me? Why is my controllers messed up? It should not. It should never happen in the first place. Now we're looking around. A great block by Brooke Lopez, but a save by Van Vliet. Ah, Andre de Kupo was his first personal foul with 106 remaining. Siakam going to shoot two. It's kind of like, yeah, it's taking over for an hour. I'm sorry to hear that, guys, but it's almost over. But it looks like the Bucks did never got a chance to win that game. Since they're just going from game six and it's game necessary, it'll be game seven. Sweet off from the move of the victory here. Nice job extending the lead. Extending the lead here for Siakam. Bucks trying to keep it back in to win it. DiVincenzo up and away. Good! Great shot that time, right around Van Vliet and right around uh, Ananobi. Or Lowry, I should say. I don't know if it's right or wrong. It's deflected. Bless him, we'll take the tie. Long point range, no good. I think we'll see them burn the clock. We're going to have to like see them back in game six because this is like happening too much. The drive by Lowry. And Lowry with a miss. He just doesn't look like Giannis going back in. Oh, oh, whoa. Holds up again was Giannis. Just a little bit off. Reaching fouls going on. Bledsoe is third with 23.1 seconds. One on two for Kyle Lowry. His first free throw is good. They're putting it up by two. He's an NBA champion now. He's taking some time. He's not taking his time. He's like he wants to like keep it from here. Final timeout called by the Bucks. As Matthews checked in by uh, by DiVincenzo. Back to the starting five. It might be a lot more challenging than the other teams. So this time, no timeouts calling on for the Milwaukee Bucks as they have something to do with another look. Giannis trying to look for something big happening. Middleton taking a tie! Oh my good 
Madness! And the Giannis puts up another assist, and looks like Toronto is going to have to stop by to take the timeout. Does that pass come in handy? I think so. Middleton definitely had something to go with. The next one for two may be, may be for the uh, Raptors to take the two on one. And then if the game has come to an end, then one of each players will come down to 10 seconds and five seconds, and somebody will take the three. If it misses, then the Raptors take it. If the Bucks make the shot, then they win the series in the second round. So it looks like this is all I'm gonna have to do is go back to the starters and put it back in. Now get loud here, Bucks fans, get loud. Here's Bledsoe, and he's going, oh, Bledsoe, a steal, and give that up a shot opportunity, stop the clock at 3.8, one more timeout going on, the Raptors, they're like timing out from here, you know, who wants to give a care, who wants to care about that one, we don't want, we don't want anything to hear about them from here. So now, the, uh, now the uh, now the finishing part will be the half court trap. That's this which is what we need to give it a go to find it out. Yes, it's like it's like running out of our time. We're just moving and pacing it through fast, as quick as you can, make it easy. Both teams have no timeouts to go. This is it. Last possession for the Raptors. If they don't make it. Then the Bucks wins the series. Three seconds, two seconds with the shot. That's it. The Bucks wins the series four to one over the Raptors, 78 to 76. And just like last year, the Raptors definitely did make a win in game six. Not at all. The Bucks wins game five this year of the season as they are heading to the Eastern Conference Championship game. Now let's catch you up by David Aldridge for Bledsoe and their players. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Brooke, congrats on the win. What are your expectations for the team right now? Uh, very high. You know, everyone's um, been coming together, you know. We've uh, been excited to close the season out the right way. And now, uh, you know, we're, we're gearing up for a great one, great run as well. Looks like you're rounding into form. Thanks again, Brooke. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, CA. Another Eastern Conference matchup will be uh, coming its way next after the winning team against the other... Uh, for the Bucks against the winning team in the second round. But we're not sure what's going to happen right now. So we know that the Western Conference matchup will be the Lakers against the Mavericks. But only one game left in the second round. It will be the Heat. Sixers at Miami playing against the Heat in game six. But who's going to win? If it's a tie, then it will be game seven. And after that, the Sixers win or the Heat win. There are no choices, any all, any call by that moment. This will be the last one to come up with them in between. And the finals will begin on June 2nd. Make sure you tune it in, guys. Anyways, that's to do for the game. Peace out, bitches, for as a while as a NBA playoff dial. Good night in Milwaukee.